welcome to Feed Down where this week, in honor of Mother's Day, we are other holidays that your mom is expecting a phone call for. I'm Columbus Day, and I should not be a holiday if you even have a base understanding of how history works. Ugh. Um, joining me this week is Valentine's Day. Wait, I'm supposed to call my mom on Valentine's Day? That's weird. And Arbor Day. My love for you is like a tree. Uh, thank you for giving birth to me. In honor of you two, my most innocent and well-adjusted feet dump guests, I've prepared a special loadout of news this week. Nobody dies. Nobody gets hurt. It's the closest we can get to feel-good feed dump news. Ooh, yay! What? No, it's good. Uh, I can be filthy, too. Uh, but that's a thing people say on feed dump, right? A man from Camberley, England, is rejoicing after solving 44 years of having a blocked nose because he sneezed out a toy dart that he had stuck up there when he was seven. I like to imagine that for 44 years he sounded like this. Yeah, it's like, hey guys, how's it? Achoo! Hey guys, how's it going? This is like that episode of The Simpsons where Homer gets the crayon out of his brain and he gets superpowers. This guy has superpowers, right? Well, he doesn't have a runny nose and hay fever all the time. Does that count as a superpower? You mean everything doesn't smell like old rubber? Amazing! Old rubber probably still smells like old rubber. But the old rubber smell would be so much more vibrant now. Oh, what is that amazing smell? It's dead old rotting fish. Wow. So the guy, whose name is Steve Easton, by the way, I was just sitting at home on his computer when he started sneezing and all of a sudden this like slightly decomposed, like gross old like toy dart rubber sucker tip just like flew out of his left nostril. And he was like, what is this? And phoned his parents. They're like, oh, yes, we thought you'd inhaled one when you were a boy. And we took you to the hospital, but they didn't find it. So we figure you ate it. So there you go. Check your kid's nostrils, I guess, is the moral of this story. As revolting as the entire story is, I am somewhat disappointed that there wasn't a Total Recall-esque scene when he put tweezers up there and had to force this thing out of his brain. I don't know if this guy has kids, but it's got to be kind of weird if one of his kids got a cold. And then they're like, oh, my nose is all stuffed up. Can I stay home from school? And he'll be like, oh, really? Your nose is stuffed up. Has it been stuffed up for 44 years? No? Well, then maybe just suck it up. A New Zealand mother who became lost while running an off-road trail race survived overnight without food or shelter by building herself a berm out of dirt and leaves and drinking her own breast milk for sustenance. Ew. Wait, is this ew? This isn't gross. It's a tale of survival and resilience and... Um, and how do you get, logistically though, is Drinking breast milk is probably not something that people want to do on a regular basis, but I have to say, out of all the fluids that can come out of the human body, that's probably the one I would want to drink the most. Ooh, you know what that means? It's time for an all new Feed Dub segment. For the first time ever, it's Paul's Top 10 Bodily Fluids. There's 10 different fluids? Thank you for watching Paul's Top 10 Bodily Fluids! Not only is this a nursing mother, but a super fit, outdoorsy, cross-country survival human? I can't even make toast in the morning, oh man. Oh, don't worry, Serge. I'm sure someday you'll get lost in the woods and then you'll have to use your resourcefulness and your own bodily fluids to stay alive. Unfortunately, you may have to start at number two on the bodily fluids list. You never actually gave a list. Which one is number two? Well, you'll have to find that out for yourself, but let me tell you, there is a pretty big gap between number one and number two. I'd like to remind all our viewers at home that these are our two cleanest, sweetest, most innocent hosts. Oh God, please don't be number two. Police in North Adams, Massachusetts have had to issue a public warning advising citizens not to attempt to chase bears through the woods while they are drunk, especially if they are doing so while wielding a dull hatchet. This might be one of those warnings that gives people an idea that they normally wouldn't have themselves. Oh man, you know what we should do? We should go get a hatchet and then get real, real drunk and chase a bear in the woods. Okay, but safety first, bro. Dull hatchet. That's a good call, good call. What I especially like about that little skit we just did uh, is that the plan is to get drunk and chase the bear with a hatchet, not we're going to chase a bear with a hatchet because we're super drunk. Like the plan is we're super, we're sober now. 
we're going to get drunk and then chase the bear. Considering neither Paul nor I drink, we are kind of just making up what people do when they drink. Like We have no idea. Uh, I mean, we have a pretty good idea. Apparently, they chase bears with dull hatchets. We have a whole story about it. So the circumstances that led to this extremely specific police warning uh, were that on Tuesday night, the police in North Adams were called out by a concerned citizen because their neighbor was running around while drunk trying to chase bears and the police showed up and that was indeed the case and so they took the guy into protective custody so he could not do that while he was super drunk and then they issued this statement we understand that there are bears in the area if you see a bear leave it alone thank you north adams police department for that incredible advice all right, we have tried to go over this on several occasions, but it is clearly not working. So, you know what? Let's just let natural selection do its job. Go ahead, chase bears if you want. And with that, we must call this episode to a close. But before we go, a feed dump safety tip from us to you. If you're drunk and thinking about chasing any mammal around in the woods while wielding a weapon, dull or not, how about don't? That's just that's a freebie that's just go out and live your life according to that motto and you'll probably get less tetanus and remember there may be better sources of news but they don't have this hat and if you're thinking hey haven't they used that hat before we have but other sources of news still don't have it so deal with it be very quiet i'm hunting bears Sir, you're in a mall. That's where they live. So it turns out we don't actually have a blunt hatchet here at the office, but we do have this rusty saw, which is just as bad.